Ero kamana loka. Ero kamano, ero kamano. Our, our chief guest, Honorable Moses Kuria, the, uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Investment, Trade and Industry. My brother, Senator for CIA, Dr. Oburu Oginga, the Speaker of the County Assembly, Honorable Jojo Kode, with your entire team of uh, members of the County Assembly, the County Commissioner, uh, Mr. Njoka, uh, our Cabinet, or rather members of the County Executive Committee, all dignitaries, including representation from the National Chamber of Commerce, Gejo Pendu Tomobiro Kakawono Giwelo, Gimon Wetena, Abosuno Queuru, Mon Wetena Untie, Mon Wetena Untie, Tachua Untie, Honorable Moses Korea, I want to invite you and welcome you to Siaya in a very, very special way. And you are not a stranger in Siaya. You've been here many times, even as an ordinary citizen. And I remember when the politics of this nation was very difficult. And there's only those who love this part of the world who could come here. And I remember you came, not only during the government of uh, the Grand Coalition government, but even during the struggles of multi-party. So when I see Moses Kuria, I see something beyond the ordinary politicians that you see in this country today. And uh, I want to say, remember, that when you're in Jeromogi's home for his burial, you're beaten by the police. <laughs> I've never known you are a sprinter. <laughs> you know, from central Kenya, you don't get sprinters. You get other people like Moses Kuria, whom are friends. So, you are coming here is of great, great significance. And let me say this. We are, as a nation, allowed to, de, to, to differ politically. We are allowed by the Constitution to differ politically and differ even forcefully. But everything goes wrong when in our politics we start to weaponize development, we begin to weaponize government operations. When we do that, we encourage parochialism and bring division amongst our nations. So Moses Kuria, what you have done today is a great testimony that Kenya is one country, one nation, and people of CIA deserve development because they are Kenyans. They are no Kenyans of shareholders. They are Kenyans of, who are citizens of this country. <laughs> So that, so that, and I know you've been in this region, you've been in the Azimio country. So, and I didn't come to see you, you just felt it was your constitutional duty to come to see I. So I, I, I urge you, I encourage you, that we should make our politics where I can differ with Moses Kuria, but matters of development, you are one country, one nation. And also urge you, so I also urge you, there is something silent amongst our people here. When we elect people and then they go to Nairobi, and then when they are here, they wear sheepskin, but when they come here, they wear clothes of wolves or political turncoats. 
That is what is killing our politics. If we can have in Kenya politicians who can take a stand, then development will be very easy. This is what Ababa was trying to say here. So I, Moses Kuria, I remember one day we were sharing, we were in an interview with you in the BBC. At that time, we are all not really part of government, but our views were more or less the same. So let us not, let not power corrupt us. Let us just be Kenyans and know that uh, you don't need to beg and you don't need to kneel before Moses Korea. You don't need to uh, bend, uh, uh, bend before any power or prince or principality to get development in Siaya. Now, in Siaya, we have decided to take this project seriously. And I think if you see what is happening on the ground now, if you come back in two months, it will be a different place. We are prepared. We are prepared. And we are prepared because this project can weaken the potentialities that we have. We have fish, we have sugarcane, we have rice, we have sorghum, we have cotton, we have got avocado, we got many products that we can expand in the growth and uh, development of these uh, crops. But the important thing is the value chain. This is what we are bringing to say today, that we should have value addition here in Siaya. And I hope that this industry that we are, this industrial park that we are establishing here will expand, will expand and we have enough land. At the moment we have got about 80 acres, but I think there's room for expansion uh, so that any investor who wants to come here and wants land additional to what is earmarked for this project, they can get th that land here in Siaya. In conclusion, in conclusion, I encourage, I encourage you that when you sit and think about this project, look for additional funds to come here, especially in the area of equipment. We are going to help equip what is being brought here, but we're going to make sure that we also help you in uh, bringing equipment to this hub. Dr. Buru, don't worry. Part of the uh, centers or activities that are going to be here is a hub for ICT. Uh, it is a component, and that courtesy Korea was seeing these things in a wholesome way. Koro an katieko, an kakao rengunya tie, an koro angena abro. Moses Korea, I will translate later. Tan kakanya tie, awa choninga to kikubuogu. Kineno Moses Korea biro kato biro nikage. Katiba Makenya Duaro Mondo Wabedgi Teko e Kenya Ka Kendo Okwabiro Kano Luongwa Wabiro Kakajo Kenya. Gemago Agonduro Kamano Koro Yena Uru. I have now the pleasure and privilege of inviting the Cabinet Secretary for Investment, Trade and Industry, Honorable Moses Korea. Thank you. Thank you.